Shop girl can be a top girl if she pleases the tired businessman. Hello, Who ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this morning's Walk of Fame ceremony. Today's ceremony is presented by the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce and the Hollywood Historic Trust. We are delighted today to honor one of Britain's and Hollywood's most respected and admired movie stars, as he is honored with the 2,429th star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Today we honor Colin Firth. Good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to be honoring such a uh, such a talented member of the thespian community here today. No, it's good that we're having this event, this ceremony at this time of the morning because it at least ensures that Colin will be sober. Um, I can guarantee you that if this was in the evening or even in the afternoon, Colin would be prostrate on Hollywood Boulevard, laying horizontal rather than standing where he is now. That's right, he would be in there, exactly. He's, he really is a true gentleman. He's one of the most sensitive, smart, open and honest people that I've worked with. He, he, he's a very talented actor. So Colin, my friend, you are a star, even if you won't admit it. And nobody deserves this more than you. Congratulations. Um, thank you so much. Um, well, firstly, Guy Pierce, it really is, on, on top of everything else, a great honor. And uh, you never forget the guy who gives you a star. So um, I, I think this is probably a, a favor waiting to be returned and couldn't be happier with my spot, I have to say. I mean, it, here in this little corner of Hollywood that will be forever England, um, alongside my partner in paving, Emma Thompson, um, I have a feeling I, I'm going to be here when I'm about 93 under a pile of blankets. <laughs> asking for spare change and um, trying to convince anyone who will listen that I'm the guy whose name is on the sidewalk, <laughs> failing to recognize that the, um, the old lady next to me is, in fact, Emma Thompson. Um, um, my, my warmest thanks to uh, Laron and everyone at the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, for, not only for making this happen, but finessing it so beautifully. Um, and uh, it's, it's quite amazing to think, you know, and I, I probably trod on that paving stone when I came here as a child in 1972, looking for Debbie Reynolds. And, uh, you know, I, at that time it seemed beyond the bounds of possibility that I would uh, even enter this profession, let alone be in the, uh, this, uh, in this neighborhood of the firmament, uh, as probably more than anybody I could ever imagine. Uh, uh, Livia, who has walked every step of this with me, uh, joyfully and, and truthfully, and when I look down there at that star, I think it's really, it's her name I see. So I thank you so much. That in memory of our late honorary mayor, Johnny Grant, who passed away three years ago last week, we hereby declare this Colin Firth Day in Hollywood. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly welcome to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Colin Firth. <laughs> You know, my memories are mostly of these stars on the sidewalk and of the Chinese theater and the handprints and all the rest of it. And so I wouldn't know how to give you a breakdown of it. And I, to me, it feels very much the same. I mean, this pub hasn't changed at all. Not that I remember the pub when I was 12. But um, the Egyptian theater hasn't, hasn't changed. The, the front of the Chinese theater hasn't changed. So in some ways, there seems to be quite a continuity to this particular part of town. And personally, how do you feel about getting a star? Oh, it's immense. It really is immense. I mean, it's, I, you know, I think sometimes people make a bit of a cult out of um, being blasé about this kind of thing, but you can't be blasé about this. I mean, I really did walk on, on these stones, um, you know, 40 years ago. And uh, I don't think I would ever have imagined that my name would show up here. It's, uh, it's, it's really quite extraordinary. Thank <laughs> you. 